Hello guys, welcome back to this channel. This is Scan City Academy and in today's video, we are going to talk about current division. Current division is applied basically to divide currents between resistors that are connected in parallel. So now let's consider a simple electrical network where we have a voltage source saving connected across two parallel resistors. Now let's call the first resistor R1 and then the second resistor R2. And of course, the voltage source is going to drive current CI throughout the circuit. And I happens to be the total current flowing throughout the circuit. Notice that the current is going to move from a higher potential, which means that it's going to flow towards this direction, approaching node A. Now at node A, we have the current dividing so that part of the current will flow through R1 and the rest will flow through R2. Now let the current flowing through R1 be I1 and the current flowing through R2 be I2. So now, what is going to be the value of the current flowing through R1 and R2 respectively? Now to find those values, we first of all need to develop an expression for I1 and I2. Now since the two resistors are connected in parallel, then their total is given by RT equals R1 times R2 divided by R1 plus R2. Now let's call this equation 1. Now after combining the two resistors, the circuit is going to look like this. We are going to have the voltage source connected across RT. And then we have current I flowing through. Now according to Ohm's law, V is equal to IR. But in our case, we have V to be equal to I times RT. Let's call this equation 2. So now let's substitute RT into equation 2. So we are going to have V equals I multiplied by R1 times R2 divided by R1 plus R2. Now let's call this equation 3. Again, since the two resistors R1 and R2 are connected in parallel, it means that the same source voltage V is applied across them. So the voltage across R1 is V and then the voltage across R2 is also V. Now according to Ohm's law, I1 is equal to V divided by R1 and then I2 is also V divided by R2. Now let's substitute equation 3 into this equation. So we are going to have I1 equals V, which is I into bracket R1 times R2 divided by R1 plus R2 or divided by R1. So I1 is going to be I into bracket R1 times R2 divided by R1 plus R2 times 1 over R1. So R1 will cancel out R1 and then we have I1 equals R2 divided by R1 plus R2 times I which is the total current. And if you want to find the value of I2, then you are going to get I2 to be equal to R1 divided by R1 plus R2 multiplying I. Now what this primarily means is that if you have two resistors connected in parallel and then you want to find the current flowing through each of the two resistors. Now the current through the first resistor, which is I1, is going to be the value of the second resistor 
divided by the sum of both resistors multiplied by the total current and then if you want to find the current flowing through the second resistor it's going to be the value of the first resistor divided by the sum of both resistors multiplied by the total current so now let's solve an example now for this example we have an 8 volt voltage source connected across two parallel resistors now the first resistor is 2 ohms and then the second resistor is 10 ohms so R1 is 2 ohms and then R2 is 10 ohms now we have a total current of 4.8 amperes flowing throughout the circuit and then at this point we have the current dividing so that I1 will flow through the 2 ohm resistor and then I2 will flow through the 10 ohm resistor now we know that to find the value of I1 I1 is given by R2 divided by R1 plus R2 times the total current 4.8 so I1 is equal to R2 is 10 ohms so we have 10 divided by R1 is 2 ohms so we have 2 plus 10 multiplied by 4.8 amperes now when you do the calculation 10 divided by 2 plus 10 times 4.8 you are going to get 4 so I1 is 4 amperes and then to find the value of I2 I2 is equal to R1 divided by R1 plus R2 times 4.8 and so I2 is equal to R1 is 2 so we have 2 divided by 2 plus 10 multiplying 4.8 and then I2 is equal to 0 0.8 amperes so these are the values of current that flows through R1 and R2 respectively that's it for today's video Thank you for watching and consider subscribing for more videos. Bye-bye.